Amen. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord, that praise shall never fail throughout eternity. Crown him with many crowns. Lord, this morning, Revelation chapter 5 verse 13 said, that then I had every creature in heaven and on earth and under the earth and on the sea and all that is in them saying to him who sits on the throne and to the lamb be praise and honor and glory and power forever and ever yes lord throughout eternity your praise will never be ceased. And that is why we're joining the creation this morning. Let us lift our voice and thank him. Crown him with many crowns. The Lord of all, the Lord of our salvation. This morning, Father Lord, we thank you because you are the King of all the earth. Oh Lord our God, we thank you, Father, for you being our refuge. Oh mighty Father, I thank you, Lord, because you are great and greatly to be praised this morning. I thank you, Father Lord. Thank you for you are my Savior. Oh Lord, I thank you for you are God forever and ever. I praise you, Lord, this morning. I join all the creatures, Lord, to praise you. For to whom who sits on the throne and to the Lamb be praise, be honor and glory and power forever and ever. Thank you, Lord, for you are the God. You are the first and you are the last. Thank you, Father Lord, because you will be our God guide even to the end oh lord oh mighty father we thank you we praise you lord for delivering our soul from death and our feet from stumbling we are grateful lord thank you lord our redeemer we praise you this morning we thank you for your love your love is great reaching unto the heavens we thank you thank you lord for you are our potter lord god almighty we thank you because you are our fortress our refuge in times of trouble, we give you thank. Oh Lord, our God, you are the God, you are our righteousness. Thank you, Father, for your love. It's better than life to us. We thank you this morning. We cry you with many cries, King of glory. Your praise will never be ceased and never cease, oh Lord. Thank you, mighty Father, because you are our helper. We thank you, Lord. You are our ruler. Yes, Lord, you will reign and rule in our life. Thank you, Father, Lord. Glory be to your name. Thank you, Father God, for you are not rejecting our prayers. You always say, even before we start talking, you're hearing and you are doing it. Ah, blessed be to your name, Lord, this morning. Thank you, Lord, for what you are going to do in my life. Thank God this morning for what he has in store for you this morning thank you lord for daily you load me with benefit thank you father for the benefits of today for me for my household oh lord for us on this prayer platform this morning we worship you lord we adore you we say hallelujah be to your name lord thank you father for the blessing of today in jesus name we praise amen now let us pray that mighty Father, will that be anything in my life? Anything, O oh Lord, that will not allow me to experience full benefit today. Righteous Lord, remove it from my life. Remove it from my life in the name of Jesus Christ. Mighty Father, I pray any sin, forgive me, Lord. Forgive me, mighty Father. Wash me clean, O oh Lord. My doubt, my self-deception, O oh Lord, mighty Father. Any way, Lord, that I've sinned against you and the one that you have you know, created, Lord, that you have made in your own image, Lord, that have offended. Father, I ask that you forgive me this morning in the name of Jesus Christ. Is there anyone I need to forgive, Lord, and forgive them? I forgive them. Anyone, Lord, that has hurt me, that has rejected me, disappointed me, this morning I release them. They do not owe me anything. They do not owe me any apology. But I release them this morning because, mighty Father, you said if we forgive our debtors, we will receive forgiveness. So, Lord, they do not owe me anything. By your grace, I release them. Thank you, mighty Father. Thank you, my Lord and my God. In Jesus' name, amen. Romans 8, 28 says this. And we know that all things God works. 
that in all things God works for the good of those who love him, who have been called according to his purpose. All things. All things are not good. Okay? But the word of God says, we know that in all things God works for the good of those who love him, who have been called according to his purpose. So this morning, declare with me that Lord Jesus, I may not comprehend everything that is happening in my life and my family right now. I may not understand it. But I believe in your word in Romans 8.28 that you are working in every situation. Heavenly Father, my Lord and my Savior, I may not comprehend everything that is happening in my life and my family right now. But I believe, I believe in your word, in Romans 8, 28, that you are working in every situation. I believe that you will bring out good in my life, despite the situation of things as they are. Yes, Lord, I believe that you will bring out good in my life, in my family, in the life of these, my children. Lord, I believe that you will bring good out of their life, despite the situation of things as they are now. I believe. Therefore, Lord, I give you thanks for each disturbing or ugly situation in my life. I give you thanks for each disturbing or ugly situation in my life. For each breaking or cleansing process you allow me to go through, I give you thanks. Father Lord, for each breaking or cleansing process you allow me to go through, I give you thanks. I thank you for each challenge or hindrance, for each change that activates and concerns me. Lord, I thank you for each challenge and hindrance, for each thing that activates concerns in me. Thank you, Lord. I thank you in advance for each demanding duty, for each pressure, each interruption that may arise in the coming day, in the coming months, in the coming years. I thank you because you are the one who sits on the throne. Your eyes behold everything so i'm thanking you in advance for each demanding duty for each pressure for each interruption that may arise in the coming months and in the coming years thank you father even for today for the coming in the moment this minute i'm thanking you for each things that is going to happen thank you lord that in each situation I have the opportunity to see you manifest your power and bring me to a place of deeper knowledge of your ways and abundance. Oh, mighty Father, I have no fear. I have no fear because, Lord, I know, Lord, that in each situation, I have the opportunity to see you manifest your power and bring me to a place of deeper knowledge of your ways and abundance. I thank you, Lord, this morning. I bless your name, Lord, this morning. In the name of Jesus, amen. Amen. After declaring that, let us affirm to ourselves the promise of God this morning. Psalm 91. You know, we should memorize it soon or later. You know, personalize it. We already thank God that we know he's working things out. Now let us memorize, the, you know, affirm that I dwell. In the sacred place of the Most High. This morning, declare Psalm 91. Open your Bible to Psalm 91. Let me open my to that too. We're going to make it personal. Psalm 91. All right. I believe we are all there. Let's read together. Psalm 91. Whoever dwells in the shelter of the Most High will rest in the shadow of the Almighty. 
I will say of the Lord, He is my refuge and my fortress, my God in whom I trust. Surely He will save you from the fowler's snare and from the deadly pestilence. He will cover you with His feathers, and under His wings you will find refuge. His faithfulness will be your shield and rampart. You will not fear the terror of night, nor the arrow that flies by day, nor the pestilence that stalks in the darkness, nor the plague that destroys at midday. A thousand may fall at your side, ten thousand at your right hand, but it will not come near you. You will only observe with your eyes and see the punishment of the wicked. If you say, The Lord is my refuge, and you make the Most High your dwelling, no harm will overtake you, no disaster will come near your tent. For he will command his angels concerning you to guard you in all your ways. They will lift you up in their hands, so that you will not strike your foot against a stone. You will tread on the lion and the cobra. You will trample the great lion and the serpent. Because he loves me, says the Lord, I will rescue him. I will protect him, for he acknowledges my name. He will call on me, and I will answer him. I will be with him in trouble. I will deliver him and honor him. With long life I will satisfy him and show him my salvation. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father, for your word. Thank you for your promises, Lord. Oh, hallelujah to your name this morning. In Jesus' name, he has promised he will never fail. So let us turn and pray this morning. Psalm 44, verse 5 says, Through thee we will push down our enemies. Through thy name we will tread them under the rise up against us. Hallelujah. That is the promise of God where we are going to stand this morning. That through thee, O Lord, we will push down our enemies. Through thy name we will tread them under the rise up against us, the rise up against our family, the rise up against our children. Lord God Almighty, according to your word, Psalm 44 verse 5, that is what we're going to base our prayer on this morning. That is the sword we're going to use this morning. Psalm 44 verse 5, we already declare, we're under the shadow of the Almighty. No evil will befall us. No weapon form against us will prosper this morning. That through thee, O Lord, we will push down our enemies. Through thy name, we will tread them under that rise up against us in the name of Jesus Christ. And with that confidence, with that sword in our hand, let us pray that you powers assigned to injure my reputation. Let the angel of God take you back into the darkness where you belong in the name of Jesus Christ. You powers assigned to injure my reputation, to injure my children's reputation, to injure my family reputation, to injure my business reputation, to injure my ministry reputation, just mention it. What is that reputation that they are trying to injure? This morning, say your powers assigned to injure my reputation, my husband reputation, my children reputation. Let the angel of God take you back into the darkness where you belong. In the name of Jesus Christ, because through thee, oh Lord our Father, we will push down our enemies. Through thee, thy name. We will tread them under the rise up against us this morning. You powers assigned to hinder my reputation, to hinder my family reputation. Let the angels of God take you back into the darkness where you belong. Angel of the living God, take them back. Take them back to where they belong. In the name of Jesus Christ, in Jesus' name, Amen. Abide every spirit of bondage fashion against me in the mighty name of jesus christ i bind every spirit of bondage fashion against me and my family this morning in the name of jesus christ according to the word of the lord that says through thee we will push down our enemies through thy name we will tread them under that rise up against us therefore in the name of jesus christ 
I bind every spirit of bondage fashion against me, against my children, against my family. I bind you in the name of Jesus Christ. And I say, go to the abyss. Go to the abyss in the name of Jesus Christ. By the power, in the blood of Jesus Christ. And in the name of the Lord, this morning, I bind every spirit of bondage fashion against me and my household. And I say, go to the abyss in the name of Jesus Christ. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. I bind every spirit of heaviness in the name of Jesus Christ. I bind every spirit of heaviness in Jesus' name in my life, in the life of my children, every member of my household this morning in my household. I bind every spirit of heaviness in Jesus' name. I bind you. New spirit of heaviness, I bind you and I command you to go into the abyss. Go to the abyss in the name of Jesus Christ. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I bind every spirit of heaviness in Jesus' name. Amen. I bind every spirit of slumber in the name of Jesus Christ. I bind every spirit of slumber in the name of Jesus Christ. When we are talking of slumber, it's not that, you know, you may be awake, but spiritually, you are sleeping. Even in the physical, slumber, every spirit of slumber, you just did so. This morning, I bind every spirit of slumber in my life, in the life of my children. What they're supposed to wake up and be doing. And they're still postponing and they're sleeping on it. This morning, I bind every spirit of slumber in any form, in any shape, in my life, in my children's life, in my ministry, in my career. I bind every spirit of slumber in the name of Jesus Christ. In my marriage, I bind every spirit of slumber in the name of Jesus. In my career, I bind every spirit of slumber in the name of Jesus Christ. In in my household, in my spiritual life, I bind every spirit of slumber, you spirit of slumber, I bind you and I command you to go to the abyss in the name of Jesus Christ. Spirit of slumber, I bind you and I say, go to the abyss in the name of Jesus Christ, in Jesus' name, amen. I bind every spirit of paralysis in the mighty name of Jesus Christ by the power and the blood of Jesus Christ. I bind every spirit of paralysis in the name of Jesus Christ. I bind every spirit of paralysis in the name of Jesus Christ. According to the word of God this morning, that through thee we will push down our enemy. Through thy name we will tread them under the rise up against us. Therefore, in the name of Jesus Christ, I bind every spirit of death and hell in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I bind every spirit of death and hell in the name of Jesus Christ. We already affirmed this morning that with long life you will satisfy us, O Lord, and show us your salvation this morning in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Because through that name we will tread them under that rise up against us. And in the name of Jesus Christ, I bind every spirit of death and hell in in Jesus' name, Amen. If you are just joining us, our pre point of prayer is taken from Psalm 44, this uh, verse 5. It says, Through thee we will push down our enemies. Through thy name we will tread them under the rise up against us this morning. Pray. You can pray the prayer and pray, or you can pray your own prayer. You know your need this morning, but hold on to that word. That in the name of Jesus Christ this morning. You know, the Old Testament, they only have the name of God that they can use. And they have that confidence and say, Oh Lord, through thee, not in my own power, not in my own strength, but through thee, we will push down our enemies. Through that name, just that name, we will tread them under that rise up against us. Through that name, in the name of Jesus, pray that I break every unprofitable covenant from age one to the present age i break it in the name of jesus christ i break every unprofitable covenant in my life since the day i was born to this present age age one age two three four you know the age where you are begin to break it that in the name of jesus christ i break every unprofitable covenant in the name of jesus from age one from age two age three age four Five, six, seven, eight, nine, 
And for those of us who are 60, who are in 70, this morning, you know you have work to do. Sit down. Begin to break it in the name of Jesus Christ because you don't know when you enter into the covenant or they enter it on your behalf. Break it this morning. You must break it that in the name of Jesus Christ, I break every unprofitable covenant from the age 1 to this present age. Age 20, age 30, age 40, age 50, age 60, 70, 80. This morning, I break it. I break it in the name of Jesus Christ. I break every unprofitable covenant from the age of 1, age of 10, age of 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90. This morning I break it. I break it in the name of Jesus Christ. I break it in the name of Jesus Christ because through the name of God we will tread them down that rise up against us this morning. This morning we will tread them down. This morning every unprofitable covenant in our life that has been made right from the even from the womb this morning be broken in the name of jesus christ break in the name of jesus christ break in jesus name in jesus name amen i encourage you take your time sit down and quietly begin to break that covenant age one age two age three and you will see when you get to a certain age something will happen and you will know that is maybe that is the beginning of your problem. And the Lord, by his grace, according to his word, through his name, we will tread them down that rise up against us. So do it at your own time this morning. Let us pray. I unseat all evil power sitting on my promotion in the name of Jesus Christ. Promotion at work, promotion in my business, in my marriage. In the name of Jesus, promotion. When we talk of marriage promotion, that means you conceive, you have more child, and you, you the child grow up, the child marry, the child have ch children. You know, that is promotion. You are going higher, 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 higher in your career, higher, higher. This morning, there are some power who are sitting on that promotion, on your advancement in the physical, in the in the in the in the, in the, in the spiritual realm, in your marriage. This morning, in your business unseat them, unseat them in the name of the Lord, in the name of Jesus I unseat all evil power sitting on my children's promotion on my family promotion on my for my promotion in the name of Jesus Christ, on my ministry promotion, I unseat all evil power sitting on my promotion on my family promotions I unseat you in the name of Jesus Christ, for through the name of the Lord this morning, we will tread them on the, the rise up against us so you power sitting on our promotion this morning, we unseat Sit you, we all sit you in the name of Jesus Christ. We all sit you in the name of Jesus, in Jesus' name, Amen. I break any cause brought upon me by any past generation in the name of Jesus Christ. I break any cause brought upon me by any past generation. In the name of Jesus Christ. I break any past. Any cause brought upon me by any past generation, I break it in my life. I break it in my life in the name of Jesus Christ. I break any curse brought upon me by any past generation in the name of Jesus Christ. You see, they do not have to put anything in their mouth to make that curse. It may just be a sentence. And sometimes they can just say it casually. Oh, this morning, break it in the name of Jesus Christ. Any curse brought upon me by any past generation, by the power and the blood of Jesus Christ, I break that curse because because the word of God say Christ has redeemed us from the cause of the law be made a cause for us for it is written because it's anyone that is sang on the poor this morning I break any cause brought upon me upon my family by any past generation I break it in Jesus name amen I bind and I paralyze the spirit and activities of the wasters in my life in the name of Jesus Christ I bind I paralyze the spirit and activities of the wasters in my life in the name of Jesus Christ in the mighty name of Jesus I bind and I paralyze the spirit and activities of the wasters in Jesus name amen I bind and I paralyze the spirit and activities of devourers in my life in the name of Jesus Christ in 
the life of my children are bind and are paralyzed the spirits and activities of devourers in my life in the name of Jesus Christ. I bind you in the name of Jesus Christ. In Jesus' name, amen. I bind and I paralyze the spirits and activities of the emptiers in my life, in the life of my children. I bind and I paralyze the spirits and activities of the emptiers in Jesus' name. I bind you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, in Jesus' name. Amen. I bulldoze my way into breakthrough in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ because the Lord of God say that through thee we will push down our enemies through thy name we will tread them on that rise up against us this morning in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ I bulldoze my way into breakthroughs in the name of Jesus Christ every obstacle they are removed this morning every obstacle to my breakthrough in the name of Jesus Christ be removed in Jesus name Amen I render all evil attacks against my life impotent. Sevenfold in the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ, the name that is above all the names, I render all evil attacks against my life, against my family, impotent. Sevenfold in the name of Jesus Christ. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. I want us to go to the word of God before we continue our prayer again. This morning, we're going to read from Luke, Luke chapter 16, and I only read just three verses, verses 11 through 13, verse, Luke chapter 16, verse 11, so if you have not been trustworthy in handling worldly wealth, who will trust you with true riches? And if you have not been trustworthy with someone else's property, who will give you property of your own? No one can serve two masters. Either you will eat the one and love the other, or you will be devoted to the one and despise the other. You cannot serve both God and money. That means you cannot serve both God and money. Eh. Let us think. That means money is God. Do we get that? You cannot serve God and money. Because both of them is Lord. In their own way you cannot serve two master you cannot belong to two Lord so my question to us this morning who is leading you this is a penitent question we need to ask ourselves as we continue our Christian race See, money can easily take God's place in your life. It can become your master. How can you tell if you are a slave to money? Ask yourself, do I think and worry about it frequently? Some of us, we have thousands upon thousands. But still, we cannot rest. And the worst part of it, we cannot even spend it. Oh, we're just accumulating it. Oh, my 401k is this. My saving account is this. My investment is this. My this is this. Ask yourself, do I give up doing what I should do or would like to do in order to make more money? Do I spend a great deal of my time caring for my possessions? Ask her, let us ask ourselves, is it hard for me to give money away? And the last question, am I in debt? Money 
is a hard and deceptive master. Words promises power and control, but often it cannot deliver. Great fortunes can be made and lost overnight. And no amount of money can provide earth, happiness, or eternal life. Go and read Ecclesiastes. Money has a wind. It will fly away. It flies away. The more you chase it, the more you, you know, if it, it, it will keep going. The more you have of it, the more unsatisfied you will have. Money. So, who is lady? Who is your master? That is the question I want us to ask ourselves. And in line of what you have just mentioned, how much better it is to let God be your master? A servant have peace of mind and security, both now and forever. God is speaking to someone this morning. You are after this money, money, money. You want to buy this, you want to buy this, the latest vehicle, the latest house, the latest this. And the peace of God is, you know, eluding you. Before you sleep, you have to take sleeping tablet. You are so stressed out. Because money is a master. And your master is a hard master. So the story we read, we know Jesus was talking to the Pharisees. The Pharisees loved money. They took exception to Jesus' teaching. We live in an age that measures people's worth by how much money they make. Do you laugh at Jesus' warnings against serving money? Do you try to explain them away? Like as I'm saying now, some of us, in your mind, you are giving all kinds of excuses. Do you apply them to someone else? Or you say, okay, no, it's not me, it's that person that is... Unless we take Jesus' statement serious, we may be acting like the Pharisees ourselves. The Pharisees acted powerfully to get praise from others, but God knew what was in their hearts. They considered their way to be a sign of God's approval. No, don't think so. Don't think so because, okay, this business is blooming. This thing is going. It's going and what? I'm able to buy two houses, three houses. I'm able to buy four cars and everything. That is God's approval. No. No. Don't take it like that. Because even those who doesn't serve God, they have those things. More than we Christians. That is, we, that is an evidence to tell you that money, wealth, is not the approver of you belonging to God. God detested their wealth, the Pharisees' wealth, because it caused them to abandon true spirituality. Though prosperity may hand people's praise, it must never substitute for devotion and service to God. So, brothers and sisters, who is leading you? Who is your master? The Bible says in 2 Corinthians, He wants us to examine ourselves, to ascertain if we are still in the faith. And Paul wrote that, Let him that think that he stand, take it, lest he fall. It's a thing. Every day, we must examine ourselves. Examine ourselves. And may the Lord help us this morning. So, 
Heaven's riches versus earthly wealth. Which one are you pursuing? Which one are you devoting more time to? And don't forget, if you are head of the household, you are leading others. You are a leader in everything that you do. So pray this morning that I will not lead others astray in the name of Jesus Christ. Because for you as a head of a household or as a head of a group, if you are not paying attention, what you're supposed to do in the household, be the priest of your household, but because of money, no time, no time, you know, it's a muscle. They don't sit down to eat at all. This one just come, grab this, go. There's no fellowship. That is what our soul should be for. Fellowship. If you're two of you remaining now, there should be deeper fellowship. Not just this one stay on their way, this one stay on their way. And when the children come, this one lock themselves in the room. There's no time to be on the table eh, to fellowship. Money, money. I remember when my child was in college, you know, some of the kids would come and, and you know, he would tell me, he said, Mommy, some of these kids said they went home, spent the whole uh, break. They didn't see their mother or their, any of their parents. Eh? Talk less of cooking for them and sharing with them. Please, my brothers and my sister, examine yourself. Examine yourself. Who is your master? You cannot serve two master. You cannot serve two God. You only take the God of heaven or money. Money. May the Lord help us. Let us pray that I shall not lead others astray in the name of Jesus Christ. I shall not lead others astray in the name of Jesus Christ. Pray that anything assigned to take me away from Christ, you shall not prosper. In the name of Jesus Christ. Anything assigned to take me away from Christ, you shall not prosper. In the name of Jesus Christ. The spirit of mammon. In the name of Jesus, you will not rule in my life. In the name of Jesus. Declare this morning. Jesus, you are Lord. You are the master. This morning, any way that I've been serving other God, other than you, this morning, please, Lord, have mercy upon me and turn me around. In the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, make me the best example of follower of Christ and leader of Christ's flocks in the name of Jesus Christ. Help me, Lord. I need your help this morning. Holy Spirit, pray. Holy Spirit, teach me. Teach me this morning. I know. Oh, you, you know, some of us will say, okay, I am. I will do it for so, so, so years. After this, so, so years. Who tells you you're going to live to that years? Nobody knows. That is why whatever you find your hands to do it now, do it diligently. And let God be the number one. Let God be the number one. Put God first. And that is what he says. Seek first the kingdom of God. And all these things will be added. Is it not a roof? Is it not a bed to sit on peacefully? Yeah? You will not lack anything, I'm telling you. Put God first. Put his kingdom mission first. Some of us, we don't want to serve God because our work will not permit us. Who will enable you to do the work? If today he asks of you, Come on, that will be the end. And you see everything that you have labored for. Oh, go and read Ecclesiastes. He said you will leave it to those who have not labored for them. Everything is vanity, vanity upon vanity. And may the Lord help us. My heart is just crying out for each one of us this morning that God will wake us up, wake up us to the spiritual, true spirituality. We will not be deceiving ourselves. Read your Bible very well and be obedient to it. And may the Lord help you, each and every one of us, as we make that decision intentionally this morning.
we will go to our intercessory this morning. Amen. Hallelujah. The Lord help us. Praise the Lord. This morning we are interceding for career, career of all people, ourselves, children, friends, husband, wife. That's what we are interceding for this morning. Uh, I want us to look at the word of God before we begin to pray. Um, Psalm 75, verse 6 says, For promotion comes neither from the east nor from the west, nor from the south, nor from the Lord. Also, if we look at Philippians 4, 13, which is a very popular, says, I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. The same Philippians verse 19 said, But my God shall supply all my needs according to his riches and glory by Christ Jesus. Hallelujah. Galatians 6 17 says, From henceforth, let no man trouble me, for I bear in my body the marks of the Lord. So, with all these scriptures in our minds, in our hearts, we go into prayer at this time. Let us thank God because He alone can advance us. He alone can advance career. So let us thank him this morning. Lord, I thank you. Lord, we thank you. We bless your holy name this morning because you alone can advance career. You alone can put one in the right career. You alone can make way for our career to flourish. So Father, Lord, we thank you. Lord, we bless your holy name this morning. In the name of Jesus, let us pray. The Lord, I thank you this morning that you will bring me into favor with all those who decide on my employment. You know, we are praying for career. Some are looking for employment. Some are in there. We are going to, by his grace, we'll touch on everything this morning. Let us pray for as many that, that are looking unto God. Let us pray that favor of God will be upon them in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, in the name of Jesus, we love God. We thank you, Lord, for our brethren that are looking for employment. We thank you that your favor, O Lord God, will be upon them. Your favor will decide their employment in the mighty name of Jesus. Let us pray in the name of Jesus. There be any evil record that is planted by the devil in anyone's mind against the employment, the career of anyone be it us, be it somebody we know, let it be shattered to pieces this morning. In the mighty name of Jesus, let it be shattered to pieces. In the name of Jesus, let us pray that, Lord, if you have to transfer, transfer. If we have to remove, remove. If we have to change, change. All human agents, you know, that are bent on stopping me, on my career, in the name of Jesus, because he alone has all the power to do and to undo. In the name of Jesus, said. We just we just had now, you know, that he alone can make all things possible. That promotion comes not from anybody. It's not from east. It's not from west. It's not from Uncle. It's not because you are close to to uh, to the manager or to whoever. And the proverbs in the in the book of Proverbs said the king's heart is in the hand of the Lord, as the rivers of water. He turn it whithersoever he will. So that is the God we serve. So this morning. Let us pray in the name of Jesus that whoever needs to be moved, whoever needs to be transferred, whoever needs to be changed, Lord, do it this morning so that I can advance in my career in the mighty name of Jesus, so that I can advance in my employment in the mighty name of Jesus. Let us pray <coughs> for anointing to excel above our contemporaries in the name of Jesus. Father, in the name of Jesus, I receive the anointing to excel above my contemporaries in the name of Jesus on the job. Excuse me. I receive the anointing to excel above my contemporaries in the name of Jesus. I receive the anointing to excel above my contemporaries in the mighty name of Jesus. <coughs> the Lord, speak, Lord, my career catapult me into greatness as you did for Daniel <clears throat> in the land of Babylon, in the mighty name of Jesus. Oh, Lord, my father, catapult me in my career, 
catapult, whoever you have in mind, you are praying for, we are interceding, we are interceding this morning. And whether it's convenient for the devil or not, we are going to intercede this morning. We are going to pray. We are going to lift ourselves, lift our brothers and sisters up in their career. In the mighty name of Jesus, because greatness is ours as children of God. If we confess Lord, greatness is ours, even on our careers, on our jobs. So this morning, let us pray. The Lord catapult me into greatness, as you did for Daniel in the land of Babylon. Catapult my children, catapult my uncle, catapult that brother that you know, that sister that you know. Pray for somebody this morning. Don't just pray for yourself. Pray for somebody this morning. In the name of Jesus, Lord, catapult me into greatness, as you did for Daniel in the land of Babylon. In the mighty name of Jesus, let us pray. And bind every strong man that is delegated to hinder the progress of everyone in their career. In the name of Jesus, Father, in the name of Jesus, I bind every strong man delegated to hinder my progress, to hinder my friend's progress, to hinder my uncle's progress in his career, to hinder my children's progress in their career. I bind them. In the name of Jesus, I bind them. In the mighty name of Jesus, say, let us pray that every stubborn block, that the Lord would dispatch his angels eh, to roll away every stubborn block eh, in our career, every stubborn block eh, to upliftment, every stubborn block eh, to promotion. In the name of Jesus, eh, oh Lord, my Father, dispatch your angels eh, to roll away every stubborn block eh, that is blocking the advancement uh, in our careers, uh, in the mighty name of Jesus. Uh, oh Lord, my Father, dispatch this money, your angels, uh, to roll away every stubborn block, oh Lord God, to our career advancement, uh, in the mighty name of Jesus, to our children's career advancement, to every of our loved one's career advancement. Lord, dispatch your angels to roll away every stubborn block, uh, in the mighty name of Jesus. Uh, let us pray. In the mighty name of Jesus, eh? every spirit of antagonism, let us bind it. Eh? In the name of Jesus, eh? let us bind them and render their power to nothing in our career. In the mighty name of Jesus, eh? every spirit of confusion, every spirit of blank mind blankness, eh? every spirit of wrong words, eh? every spirit of mind dullness. Eh? In the name of Jesus, eh? we bind you this morning. In the life of each and every one of us, in the life of our brethren, eh? oh, we bind you. Oh, we bind you this morning. We bind you. We render every of your activity to nothing in our lives, in our career, in the career of our brothers and sisters, in the careers of our children, in the mighty name of Jesus. Eh? Every spirit of evil collaborators eh? are places of what you have different, diverse people working. Some, they, they are just there to cause a advocate. So this morning we pray, every evil collaborator say, hey, in our career, in our places of work, oh, we bind you and we render your activities to nothing in our, each of our brethren's life. In the mighty name of Jesus, say, let us pray, let us claim the position of head in the mighty name of Jesus, eh? let us play the position of head in our career in the name of Jesus, eh? because there is not just one person in that career. There are different and lots of people there. Let us claim the position of headship eh? in the mighty name of Jesus, eh? that position of top. Eh? We claim it, oh Lord God, in our career this morning, in all of our brothers and sisters' career, we claim the position of head eh? in the mighty name of Jesus, eh? in the name of Jesus for as many that are looking, oh Lord God, for employment eh, in their various career. Father, in the name of Jesus, we pray, oh Lord God, that, oh Lord God, you will put their thoughts eh, in the mind of their helper, in the mighty name of Jesus, eh, that even as they attend interviews, eh, Lord, in the name of Jesus, that your favor will be upon them. In the mighty name of Jesus, your favor will be upon them. Eh. Oh Lord, my Father, we lift, oh Lord God, before you this morning for as many that are looking unto you, even for change of worker. In the mighty name, in their various careers, 
Father, in the name of Jesus, we pray that you, oh Lord God, oh Father, Lord, that, that you will help them, oh Lord God, in the mighty name of Jesus, eh, you will direct their feet, oh Lord God, in the name of Jesus, eh, that every spirit of bad luck, eh, Lord, we come against it this morning, in the mighty name of Jesus, every spirit of memory failure, Lord, we come against it, eh, in the name of Jesus, eh, some people will prepare and prepare for interview on the day of interview, just simple question. They are looking to the left, to the right. They don't even know what to say. They are so confused. Their memory is failing them. Then as soon as they step out, everything starts coming back. Oh, Father, in the name of Jesus, every spirit of memory failure in the lives, oh Lord God, of anyone, oh Lord God, looking forward, oh Lord God, to employment or change, oh Lord God, in their career. Lord, we come against it this morning. We render that activity. We render it none and void this morning. In the mighty name of Jesus, eh? every spirit of mind blackness. Eh? In the mighty name of Jesus, we come against you this morning. In the mighty name of Jesus, eh? oh Father, Lord, we thank you this morning. Lord, we bless your holy name. In the mighty name of Jesus, eh? let us pray. In the name of Jesus, eh? that I claim power, power to overcome, power to exert among all competitors, eh, among my contemporaries, eh, in the name of Jesus, eh, among, oh Lord God, my subordinates, eh, I claim the power, power to overcome, power to exert in the mighty name of Jesus, eh, let the spirit of excellence, eh, let it fall upon each and every one eh, in our careers. Eh, in the name of Jesus, oh Lord God, oh Lord my Father, let the spirit of favor, let it fall upon our careers. Eh, in the mighty name of Jesus, eh, Father, in the name of Jesus, we pray, oh Lord God, that every adversary, oh Lord God, in the of our breakthroughs, eh, on each of our careers, eh, of everyone, oh Lord God, our friends, our family members, us, our children, Father Lord, we break it, we render it to nothing in the mighty name of Jesus. Eh? Father Lord, we thank you this morning. Lord, we bless your holy name this morning. We give you praise, we give you honor, we give you adoration in the name of Jesus, oh Lord God, because you desire for us, your children, to have enough for ourselves eh? and to be able to give to others. So, Father Lord, eh, we bless you this morning that you will make us, oh Lord God, to be so blessed in our career so that we can be blessings to other people in the mighty name of Jesus. Eh? So that we'll be able, oh Lord God, to provide for ourselves, for our family, and assist the work of God eh? and assist the needy. So, Father Lord, eh? help us, oh Lord God, lift us up in our career in the mighty name of Jesus. Eh? Help us, oh Lord God, that our career will bring in income that will be able to meet, oh Lord God, all these demands. Eh? In the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, King of Glory. Thank you because you don't want your children, no Lord God, to be in poverty. So, Father, Lord, uh, we come against poverty because you are lifting us up. Uh, you are lifting our careers up uh, in the mighty name of Jesus because the blessings of God make rich and have no sorrow. So, Father, Lord, we thank you this morning because you have had us. Glory be to your name. Honor, adoration be to your name in the name of Jesus. Thank you, righteous Father. For in Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. And now may the grace of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit rest and abide with us now and forevermore. Amen. 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 In Jesus' name. Good morning, everyone.